Okay, so to find b when x does not equal 0, we first need to find the slope. So I'm going to label here, I've got y2 and y1, and then x2 and x1. All right, then I can put these numbers in my formula. So I've got m equals 9 minus 3, y2 minus y1, divided by 4 minus 1, x2 minus x1. And I can solve this. So 9 minus 3 is 6, and 4 minus 1 is 3. I can simplify, so 6 divided by 3 gives me 2. My slope, m, equals 2. Okay? Now, in the slope-intercept form equation, I can plug that in. So let me write that. y equals mx plus b. I'm going to replace m with the slope I found. So I've got y equals 2x plus b. Now I'm going to replace x and y with an ordered pair from the table. And I'm going to choose the very first one. So the ordered pair is 1, 3. All right, so the x value is 1 and the y value is 3. So I can do 3, which is y, equals 2 and then instead of x, I'll put 1 plus b. Now I can solve this. So 2 times 1 gives me 2. And I'll rewrite everything. Plus b. Okay. Now I want to get b alone, so I have to subtract 2 from both sides. Okay. 2 minus 2 is 0, so that cancels. And then 3 minus 2 is 1. Now I've got 1 equals b. Okay, so the y-intercept of this table is 1. In my slope-intercept form equation, y equals mx plus b, I can now replace m and b. So I've got m, which is 2. So y equals 2x plus b, which is 1. That's my final equation.